This episode is brought to you by Gigi Greyville! Now enjoy the episode. Pew. This is All Sports All the Time, episode 120. Uh, due to unforeseen circumstances, we are back on Zoom for the first time in about probably what 50 60 episodes oh yeah it's been a long it's been a time while. it's been a while i'm joined by parker with an amazing uh backdrop there i don't it, you're gonna have to watch on mini parker so yeah if you're listening go go to youtube for just to see the backdrop that's it um we are recording this on a monday and hopefully this will be coming out late monday but that means that we actually get to react to NFL games. Normally, we're talking about them before they happen, and then the episode gets posted on Monday after they've happened. It's kind of like a weird paradox. But now we get to react to them, which makes this way easier for us. Um, so let's just start there, Parker. Which game do you want to talk about? Let's talk about the Chargers versus Browns game. Mm. because that game was crazy yeah i was so So, happy for the browns up until the last minute yeah i know the browns are looking really good this year um but the chargers are just just looking better like they're absolutely destroying um the chargers scored 26 points in the fourth quarter yeah (laughs) to win the game that's absurd and uh Justin Herbert looks like the next big thing. You know what I mean? Like he's mm-hmm. he's just being insane every single every single week. Um, he almost had 400 yards and four touchdowns. Um, and the Browns had zero turnovers, over 40 points, and like I don't know how many yards of offense. Like over uh, what? I think it was like 500. over 500. Yeah, yeah, over 500 yards of offense. <laughs> And they still lost. Like, what? It's That's ridiculous. crazy. Like, that, that game was absolutely absurd. Yeah. Now the Chargers have beaten the Chiefs and the Browns and the Raiders, which is really impressive. Yeah. And their only loss is what? To the – who's it to? I'll check. I don't know. We should probably find that out. But They lost to the Seahawks. Oh, wait, no, no, that was preseason. Oh, yeah, they lost to the Cowboys by three. Oh, yeah. Cowboys are pretty so good, that, too. That shows how legit the Cowboys are. Yeah. Um, yeah, we can segue into the Cowboys-Giants game. That game was rough. I had to watch that one because mm-hmm. uh, we didn't – in our area, Fox had the Cardinals 49ers game and Cowboys-Giants, and it's just like regional. Mm-hmm. They assign you one. So we couldn't watch – cardinals 49ers and then for some reason cbs just like wasn't working for us don't know why something with the antenna or whatever uh so that was we couldn't get browns chargers so yeah we were stuck watching the cowboys just destroy all of the giants offensive backups because they lost their top three receivers their left tackle their running back and their quarterback yeah ridiculous in the first half if, yeah, I know. And if they don't come back anytime soon, 2-15 and 15 isn't looking out of the picture. That's what I projected them at. It's true. So, I mean, getting one more win seems a lot harder without your starting, like, quarterback, running back, and, like, three wide receivers. Speaking of our predictions, uh, I believe it wasn't – it was before we, uh, we actually put out our picks – um, we were showing each other our predictions we had made and we were just like discussing them. And I believe you said I was insane for picking the Cardinals to have a better record than the Seahawks. And you were <laughs> oh. sure the Cardinals were going to finish last in the division. And I thought I was oh. going to be bold picking them to finish third. Oh, no. So, uh, they, they, we were both wrong on that one. Yeah, the Cardinals look... Absolutely. They look like the best team in the league because this past week, even though it wasn't the prettiest game, they still, their defense held the 49ers 
to 10 points. It was so, Trey Lance's first game, but <clears throat> yeah, they're still, they're finding ways to win. Um, even when the offense isn't like going off every single game. Yeah. So yeah, that, that's a big win right there. Um, you know what else is a big win? Eagles, baby. Yeah. Eagles. <laughs> yeah. Eagles Panthers game. Dude, that game. Um, so I so here's where I was at yesterday yesterday, where I wasn't texting a lot in that group chat. I watched the first quarter and then I was really tired, so I went to sleep. Um and took a nap because I was tired. And then um I woke up and I had to go to work. So I only saw the first quarter. So can you explain it to me? The rest of the game? Yeah. Um, let me explain it to you by just reading the group chat. Okay. Uh, which was basically just me and Luke at this point. Um, but yeah, it was, we had some interesting uh, dialogue about the game. Basically, it was the strangest game I've seen in a long time. The Eagles should not have won, uh, but they did somehow. Uh, all right, here we go. What a grab. Oh, big play Slay. Darius Slay got an interception. Offense looking really bad. Yeah, Jalen keeps throwing screens or something behind the line of scrimmage, and we can't get anywhere with that. Smith, never mind, flag. <laughs> Because <laughs> touchdown called back, of course. Get Greg Ward off the field. He sucks. And then I said, I think I'm behind you again because my, yeah, Luke was reacting to plays before they happened on my screen. So that was fun. Uh, literally all Smith has to do is run his route and he's open. Why do we always score and then get penalized? Uh, hey, a first down. Well, Maddox, Avante. And that was me and Luke doing it. Luke says, we went in the wrong order with his name. Wow. I, we yeah, need... I watched that play. Yeah, that was a crazy play by Avante Maddox. Saved a touchdown. Wow, we need offensive to be better. Come on, Luke, spell stuff right. All caps, Hargrave. Best sack celebration in the game. Uh, if the Texans... Are the Texans going to beat the Patriots? Not about this game, <laughs> It looked like it for a while. No, Watkins was wide open. That was at the end of the half. The Eagles were driving, and Hurts threw like an out route to either mm -hmm. Hurts or Goddard. And if he had waited like another half second, Quez Watkins was just running straight down the field with nobody on him because the safety cut towards the tight end. It oh. was frustrating. Like there was nobody near Quez. This is bad. Oh, it's so ugly. All caps. What is this game? Oh. Big play Slay. He got his second interception. This is so <laughs> odd. It's so bad and so good, but mostly bad. Three forced turnovers in like five minutes. I don't know what to think. I hate this. But when the Eagles do something is fun. I think he meant it's fun. Quez. Quez. How are we in this game? That was uh, Quez caught like a 50-yard bomb. I, I don't saw. even know. Huh? I saw the highlights. Hmm. If there wasn't that safety, then it would be a tie game. Let's go. Blocked. Huge. This game. I don't even know what to think. Crazy. This might be Jalen's worst game, and yet we still have a shot. Goddard dropped the ball, but hurts. Bang emoji from me. Got to go for two. Yup. He got away. Parker. <laughs> I said, Parker, just a heads up. Luke picked the Eagles to win. Uh, Parker picked oh. the Panthers, so Luke gained a game here. Uh, Man. Let's go. Pick third of the game. Steven Nelson. Wow, wow, wow. I thought so, too. This is crazy. So many turnovers. Probably the fourth worst performance by Hertz out of five games, but hey, yeah. I guess the defense can still negate a bad quarterback, even if it's just for one game. Kenneth Gainwell just saved Miles Sanders because Miles Sanders, when the Eagles are trying to run out the last minute of the clock, ran out of bounds. And if the Eagles hadn't gotten a first down after that, we all would have been so mad at Miles Sanders. Yeah, he did. Wow, 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 wow. 
Finally, what a game. Defense carried. A terrible, wonderful game. Beautifully said. Thank you. The second greatest comeback of the day behind Mac Jones, obviously. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> Belichick magic. And then we started talking about how terrible the kickers were this weekend, which was hilarious. Oh, yeah. I think they there were, were, what, 12 missed kicks? Or was it yeah. just missed extra points? Well, there was everything. It was. Did it was you bad. see the, the Packers Bengals game? Um, we can segue into that. I picked. Oh, I, there we go. I'm back. <laughs> I picked the Packers to lose the Bengals, and I was yeah. feeling so good. Like they were right there. It was so close. And the Packers, Mason Crosby, he missed like three straight field goals, three yeah. straight to win the game. And the Bengals kicker also missed like one or two and he thought it went in did you see him celebrating that one was yeah i felt really bad <laughs> he and like, his holder and like one of the offensive linemen started celebrating and then turned their heads and were like wait what yeah not yeah. a good look so i was really disappointed i thought the Bengals could pull that out yeah. but obviously they didn't and oh man and now luke's up a game on me in parker's picks Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. We did, we're just giving away what happened this weekend with your picks? Wow. Oh, I, sorry, I didn't know. I, I, sorry. That's All right, let's bad. go to Parker's picks versus Pagley's picks real quick. We'll detour. We can come back to games. But, yeah, Luke is okay. up a game on Parker. Uh, we're at the point in the season where this is going to be happening a lot. Parker took the lead last week. Now Luke takes it back. Luke actually in our pick um, league that we're in, had the best week. So congrats to Luke on that one. Um, he killed it. Yeah. Well, we're pretty sure he had the best week. He won't if the Colts Whoa. somehow beat the Ravens, but I don't think yeah. the chances of that happening are very high. Um, so yeah, Luke wins uh, $10 for having yeah. the best week. So that was good for him. Um, in, our, in our Pickens League, he yeah. picked the Chiefs. But in Parker's picks versus Pagley's picks, he picked the Bills. So yes. right now in the Pickham's League, me and him are tied. But in Parker's picks versus Pagley's picks, he's winning by one. Yeah. Um, so I don't know whether that's good or bad. Um, it, it just is more work for us now since we can't look at the Parker's picks versus Pagley's picks. Yeah, I just have um, to like mentally remind myself Luke's is just minus one or plus one. Yeah, Just but he, he destroyed the week. Um, yeah. In Parker's picks versus Pagos picks, he had 14 out of 15 right. And if the Ravens win, he'll go 15 out of 16. Yeah. Which, which might be an all time 15 and one in a week. That might be a record. Yeah, it might be. So just like kudos to him. I still did well. Like I'm, I'm at like what I think. You're only a game back. So. Yeah, I'm 12 out of 15 this week. Yeah. So, yeah, if I didn't have my rough uh, seven and nine week one, I would be, like, top of the league. You know what I mean? Yeah. But we're just working it back every week. You know, we're solid. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's fair. That's fair. You've always got the, uh, the confidence anyway. I think you could be down, like, 10 games and you'd be like no we're working it back we're good we're oh good. yeah we'll slow well, 10 games <laughs> isn't a lot well, 10 games isn't a lot exactly well it's a, it's a lot if there's two weeks left it's well, not a lot if there's 10 weeks left because that's one all relative week. yeah luke called me sunday night before he had to go to his nhs induction and he was like hey so i think i'm almost guaranteed to win this week but i'm not sure I'm locked in on Bills for Parker's picks versus Pegley's picks, but I don't know if I should change it for the Pick'em League. And I was like, I mean, my original suggestion was pick the Chiefs so that you can hedge your bets just so that you win one way or the other. But then he was like, well, I don't know. I think he said his gut said the Bills and his heart said the Chiefs. <laughs> so I just said, follow your heart, Luke. And he was like, all right, I'm going with the Chiefs. So you're welcome, Luke. Really you followed out. your gut. Follow your gut. Yeah, never follow your heart. Only follow your gut. How did yeah, I wonder how he differentiated what his heart was saying and what his gut was saying? True. 
Because I like, do they feel different? What's his? Well, people always say you shouldn't you shouldn't react based on your heart when you're they making a financial transaction. Like, don't buy a bunch of Bitcoin when everybody else is because then you're probably going to lose. You know what I mean? Like, you can't follow your your heart. You should follow your mind. So Luke, Luke followed both of the wrong things there. His gut was wrong and his heart was wrong. He should have followed his mind. Mm. But I, I watched the Bills-Chiefs game. All of it? Um, no, not all of it. Okay. There was a rain delay. Yeah. Um, there was a rain delay at halftime, and it was the longest halftime you've ever seen. Um, yeah, it was crazy. But then after, I, I was still up. Uh, um, so then I watched until the Bills picked off Patrick Mahomes twice. And yeah. one of them was a pick six. Yeah, the pick and, six uh, was not Mahomes' fault. Right off Tyreek Hill's no. Yeah, but like Tyreek Hill doesn't do that. Like the Chiefs are literally falling apart. They're two and three. No, I um, wouldn't say they're fun. They've stumbled out of the gates, but they've played the Ravens, the Browns, the Chargers, and the Bills. That's like all top five AFC teams. Yeah, so you're right. They've had a but, rough start, but it's not like they've been playing easy teams. But they're they've only won their average margin of victory is approximately um, 2.5 points. That's true. And their average margin – oh, wait, no, I, I didn't factor in the – no, never mind. That's very wrong. Um, <laughs> their average margin of victory is eight, is eight points. Okay. Um, their av- and that's in the two games that they've won because one of those games they played the Eagles. Yeah, they won that by Their 12. average margin of loss is approximately – this is math with Parker Wolf. Math, math with Parker Wolf. 25 divided by three. Mm. Um, Which oh, is 8. about 8. 8.33. 8. Yeah. So, so the, their average margin the of loss is greater than their average margin of victory. But barely. <laughs> but it still is. All right. It still is. Yeah, the bills that, just look that might be a new crazy. segment, Parker's statistics, and you just give us a random statistic, and we have to see how it makes sense. Yeah, but they're not out of the woods either, the Chiefs, <clears throat> because no. they face Washington. Okay, maybe that's a little easier. Yeah, they face then they face the Titans. The Titans looked really, really good this past week. Well, they played the Jaguars, but yeah, but still, the Titans are they're top their their division. Mm-hmm. And then you got the Giants, which is probably another easy one. But then you have Packers, Raiders, Cowboys, Broncos, Raiders, Chargers, Steelers, Bengals, Broncos to finish the season. All those that is a rough good. schedule. Yeah, like that schedule is like absurd. Wow. And because everybody else in their division is better than them so far, like based on standings, you know. Would you take the Broncos to beat them, though? Uh, no. No, I would not. I think the Chiefs are going to go 2-0 and versus the Broncos. But against the Chargers, maybe they'll win the next one, but that's not guaranteed. Mm-hmm. And I would probably pick them to go 2-0 and versus the Raiders, but I feel like they're going to lose one out of those four. The Raiders always play the Chiefs really close for some reason. It makes no sense, but it yeah, every time. They do. Oh, wow. That is a rough schedule. I'm yeah. sorry, Chiefs fans. Actually, no, I'm not sorry, Chiefs fans. You have Patrick Mahomes. Deal with it. Yeah. So, like, basically, every team they play that's not in the NFC East is good. Yeah. I um, mean, the division is low. It is a really good division. You're right about that. Yeah. We can talk about divisions so far. <clears throat> so, the Bills have a two game lead in their division over the Patriots. Yeah, it's pretty um, much wrapped up. There's no way the Patriots are catching them. Yeah, exactly. And the Patriots, you know, now that Tom Brady's not there, like they're just not the top of their division anymore, um, like mm-hmm. they once were every every year. Losing record again this season. Um, yeah, it just makes a lot of sense. Mm. AFC, AFC West, um, obviously this is the loaded division. Yeah. Um, Chargers number one, four and one. And you have Broncos Raiders. Who have been faltering recently? They're both on a two-game losing streak. They're both three and two. 
and then you have the Chiefs, and they're two and three. So who's going to finish last in that division, Owen? Mm. Well, I've been a believer in the Broncos. Like when they were three and zero, and people were like, "Ah, it's a fluke. They haven't played many good teams." I was like, "Ah, oh, I think the Broncos could be pretty good this year." Uh, then Teddy Bridgewater got hurt. Drew Lock isn't as good. Um, I, and then they lost to the Steelers, and the Steelers aren't very good either. So I'll pick the Broncos they, to finish last. Yeah, the, and they lost by, um, what? They lost by. It wasn't close. 16 to the Ravens. Yeah. So, the, yeah, that is kind of iffy. And when is Teddy going to be back? Like, is he going to be back? I don't know when Teddy is going to be back. But oh, speaking of people that aren't going to be back, Russell Wilson, man, of course, mm. he like dislodged his finger joint or something. Yep, that's exactly what happened. <laughs> and now I got to pick up a QB. I mean, I guess it's not the end of the world since QBs are like, very replaceable you know what i mean like yeah. at least it's not a wide receiver or a running back can um, i interest you with daniel jones no no he He's just the got number hurt. five quarterback in the league up until this week when he got concussed that dropped his average but other than <laughs> yeah. that he was averaging like 35 a game in yeah, but scoring i think daniel jones like is one of my like lowest of low players like i do not believe in daniel jones at all um obviously I projected the Giants to go two and fifteen with Daniel Jones. True. So even though he was playing really well and like he actually was looking good, I still I don't I don't like him. I'd rather get a guy off waivers. Um or maybe trade some for somebody else. But mm. um I haven't made a single trade yet and I'm I'm three and two. So uh yeah, not not bad. Not bad. Um my running backs are looking loaded this year. James <laughs> like, Robinson has looked very good. James Robinson looked outstanding. Except for like one or two bad weeks, Alvin Kamara has looked really, really good. Like he's getting so much like touches. Like he carried the ball 26 times the other week. Like what? That never happens. And now he, he touches the ball for 26 times. Like he's going to be insane. Like if he gets that much like even though his passing game is down, his running game is up. So, um, And then Cordell Patterson, he's so good every week. He has 40, 42 again, like this week. That is ridiculous, the fact that you got him. And he that was such a steal by you, wherever you drafted him. No, no, no. I picked him up off waivers after week one. Yeah. Wow. Like, Great just like James up. Robinson last year. Yeah. Wow. And I didn't believe in him at all <clears throat> uh, for the first three weeks. And he still put up big numbers week after week. So it was like, okay, get Devontae Smith out of my flex. Let's put Cordero Patterson in there. And he's just going off every week. But like, yeah, I'm like, he had three passing touchdowns, like not this week, but last week. He's a running back. Yeah. Matt Ryan threw him the ball three times. He's never even done that to Julio. Julio hasn't caught the ball like three times. Passing touchdowns, like receiving touchdowns, he, yeah, receiving touchdowns. Yeah. So, I don't know. I'm I'm loving Cordero Patterson, and he isn't he older too? Like I thought he was like yeah. in his like late twenties or thirties or something. I don't think he has that much wear on his body though, because he's always been like a kick return specialist, and then yeah. like kind of a wide receiver on the side. So like mm-hmm. his body hasn't taken quite as much punishment. Yeah. So. I don't know. I I love it though. I love it. I don't know how it's happening, but he's very very good. Yeah. Um. I'm glad Chris didn't accept my trade. Um. I had offered him, um, Cordero Patterson and, uh, I think it it was like a, I think it was Devonte Smith, for DeAndre Hopkins. Back back like two weeks ago. That's pretty fair. Well, yeah, it's fair then. I don't think it's fair now <laughs> because DeAndre Hopkins, yeah. he had a good week this past week, but there's been so many guys on the Arizona Cardinals offense that have caught the ball other than DeAndre Hopkins. Like, I don't even think he's ranked in the top 20 for wide receivers. And Cordell Patterson is like, <laughs> I think I think he's top three now um, for That's running back. ridiculous that Cordell Patterson would be 
like uh yeah that high it, whether it's at running back or wide receiver a hybrid he's literally a flex in the NFL. yeah yeah exactly. <laughs> that's and he's yeah. been consistent like really consistent yeah which is which is very good if he doesn't get injured like it's looking really good mm-hmm. um, oh don't jinx that yeah you're right knock on what i have wood right next to me so i guess you want to go through the rest of the divisions uh real quick yeah we've been okay. on football for a while okay afc north ravens have a chance to take the lead four and one um if they lose they'll be tied with the bengals and browns at three and two and then the steelers at two and three afc south the titans have a two-game lead just like the bills they're three and two everybody in the west the rest of the afc south is very bad colts one and three about to be one and four probably texans one and four jags zero and five um, yeah. and then the, in the NFC, you got the NFC East. Cowboys, very, very, very good team. Very, very good team, four and one. And then you got the Washington football team and the Eagles at two and three. Both, in my opinion, eh, like, eh. I was definitely lower on the Eagles than I should have been, but I'm still, yeah. I still don't think they're going to be 500, you know? And then Giants, one and four, very, very bad. They're bad, yeah. In the NFC West, we got the best team in the leagues right now, the Cardinals. And then you got very close behind the Rams, 4-1. and one. And Seahawks 49ers are both 2-3. and three. Now, their schedules have been very tough, and I I think both of those teams are going to be above 500 teams. Well, the Seahawks, um, I don't know. Well, Not Russell with, Wilson for six with, with Gino, No, no, but Gino, um, I was looking at reports. Don't tell he me you believe had, in Gino. He had the same PFF grade as Russell Wilson the, the when he finished out the game. I don't know so, if he's going to keep that up, though. No, but I saw the fantasy report. Um, apparently, it's not supposed to drop, like, that much for each of their wide receivers. So, you I really hope... Geno Smith, then, off waivers. Maybe. Yeah, that's <laughs> what I'm thinking. Um, I really hope that uh, that Tyler Lockett and him establish a connection, you know? Instead of him and DK, because that could be huge if if they establish a connection like better than DK's because it's like a new quarterback kind of thing. Um, so I guess we'll just we'll have to wait and see. Yeah. Um, and the NFC North Packers are four and one. They got a game lead over the Bears, which Bears coming on strong, two game win streak. Um, defense of the Bears looks very very good. Um, which is very good for when you're playing in snow games, which they will do a lot more than other teams this year. Yeah. They'll probably hold teams to like zero points. Um, and then the Vikings, two and three, but they face good competition. So the Vikings are right there too. The Vikings um, could have beaten the Cardinals if they had made that field goal. Yeah. Kind of well, crazy. And, and then last, um, of course, we all know the Detroit Lions Speaking lost again goals. on a game-winning field goal. And the score was again 1917. Um, so unfortunate. Dan Campbell was crying after the game, rightfully so. I mean, this team is just awful. Um, but hey, they, they were close. They almost beat the Vikings, they almost beat the Ravens. So you got to give them a little credit for losing, um, even though they lost. And then that brings us to the NFC um, South. That and one's done, too. NFC South. South. Oh, yeah, yeah. We've gone to whatever. Bucks 4-1, you know. They're winning M- it. Championship caliber team. Tom Brady obviously is absurd. Five more touchdown passes this past week be- because he's just – he he doesn't age. He's just the GOAT. Um, and Panthers 3-2, and two, Saints 3-2. and two. So the Panthers are faltering a little bit. The Saints are right back with them. Um, and then you got the Falcons down there at two and three. Yeah. So. All right. Those are the divisions. Thank you for that, Parker. Of course. Um, let's transition away from football because that gets plenty of attention to a sport where they're in the playoffs. And yet we care more about the regular season week five of football than the MLB Divisional Series. I'm guessing you have not watched 
any MLB games uh, just because of football, because they always get swallowed by NFL. Even college games will tend to overtake an MLB playoff game. Um, but the divisional series matchups are Dodgers Giants, which is one of the greatest matchups we've ever seen. Um, and then also in the NL Braves Brewers. And then in the AL, it is Red Sox Rays and Astros White Sox. So the current standings as of today, uh, the Red Sox and Rays played a thriller last night. And the Red Sox are actually up now two games to one. It's a best of five. So first to win three games. Uh, Red Sox were not expected to even make this a close series against the Rays. Um, the White Sox uh staved off elimination they won their last game so they're still down two games to one on the astros and then the giants dodgers and brewers Braves series are both tied at one game apiece yeah why so how how did the dodgers just beat the giants nine two because they're really they're really good and they had a huge sixth inning where they hit like three doubles but, yeah, like, I know the Dodgers, like, they've got all this talent, right? But, like, how are the Giants even in it then? I don't know how the Giants are this good. They don't have the firepower that the Dodgers have. They don't have the names the Dodgers have. They don't have the talent that the Dodgers have. I don't know how the Giants yeah, are this you're, good. You're making it's me insane. want to root for them. You're making it's me want crazy. to root for them. They sound like underdogs. Sure. Root for the Giants. Feel free. Well, yeah, it's crazy. If you say it that way, you make me think of NFL, and I don't want to root for the Giants. The Giants but... won 107 games, and yet they're kind of the underdog. Wow. It's weird. So, wait, the Giants, what's their what's their first name? San Francisco. Oh, okay. So you got to say San Francisco Giants, not New York Giants. There Sorry. we go. The baseball no, Giants. Good. Yeah, the baseball right. Giants. Okay, I'll root for the baseball Giants. Okay, well, um, that transitions us. I was going to have us do World Series predictions. Luke isn't here to make his, so that's unfortunate. But uh, at the beginning of the year on my whiteboard picks, I picked a Dodgers-White Sox World Series, which I guess could still happen. Uh, the Dodgers are going to play a hard-fought series with the Giants. If they get past that, they could make it to the World Series. But the White Sox are down two games to one against the Astros, and uh, I don't feel great about them winning that series. But I'm going to say Dodgers-White Sox just because I trust the picks that I made in March. <laughs> um, yeah, if you made them on March 16th, you're going you're gonna to be correct. Um, mm. But my, my guess is – that the Giants are going to win this series with the Dodgers. Then they're going to go on and play the, the other team that they're going to play, and they're going to they're going to win. That puts them in the World and then, Series. And then they're going to they're going to be in the World Series against um, the Rays. Okay. Is that is that illegal? That, that's yeah, that's a possible outcome. Okay, yeah, they're going to be in the World Series against the Rays, and the Rays are going to. Um, avenge their loss and win. All right. So Rays over Giants in the World Series? Yes. All right. That's a solid pick. Thank that's, you. Uh, that's the two one seeds. Wait, really? So, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no you went no, – you're, you're good. You went with who you thought was going to win. But I didn't, I didn't know they were the one seeds. I thought – That know, makes it I more thought, impressive. Yeah. So – there you go. Um, do you want to talk about any of the college football games? There was, I don't, we're running out of time here, so we don't want to get too um, into it. Should we just Sean talk Clifford, about Penn State? Just, just Penn State. Okay. Sean Clifford. <sighs> Sean Clifford. Of course, he gets hurt. Backup comes in. It's terrible. Yeah. Iowa beats us by three. And now, I don't know what to do about Penn State because, like, every game matters. And even though we lost to a really good team, the committee is still going to – it's going to be tough now to get into the playoffs. Like, 
If we you lose win two out. games, you can't get into the playoffs. Yeah. Yeah, we, so. we have to win out. And if our only loss is to Iowa because our backup quarterback got was put in, then that's that's decent and it looks good. But if we lose another one now, we're probably done. Um and I think that's all we really need to talk about in the Penn State game. Yeah. Um, they played pretty well. The defense was very good. Um, but the uh, let's also talk about how Alabama lost. That was crazy. We should, we should talk about this a little bit. Um, Georgia is going to be the number one team in the nation. Yep. And uh, Al- Alabama. Alabama take- dropped to five, I believe. What does Penn State at now? Seven. What? And I was two. What? Are you serious? Yeah. That see that doesn't make sense to me. That's Alabama being favored over Penn State. Penn State's lost. That's because Alabama is better than Penn State. <laughs> no, but Penn State only lost because of their backup court, like their quarterback got hurt. Yeah. Alabama, they had their quarterback the whole game. Yeah, but they're and Alabama. That's that's <laughs> not fair. Like they shouldn't be ranked higher because the only reason we lost to a team that was very very good was because was because of our backup quarterback. Yeah. Wait. So Oklahoma is three. Cincinnati is four. No, they're eight now. They're all the way down to eight. Oh, they are. Okay. Ohio. I must have looked at Ohio State and Michigan. I must have looked at like a predicted rankings, not the actual one. Why are why is Ohio State and Michigan ranked higher? I don't know why Michigan is so high. That's insane. No, but Ohio Michigan Michigan hasn't lost, but they haven't played anybody. Yeah. Ohio State lost to Oregon, which is a much worse team, much worse team than Iowa. Like, what? Why are we? I don't get it. I I don't get it at all. The committee is the committee can be confusing. They don't like Penn State. That's what. That's what's up. Oh, the committee right. doesn't like Penn State. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's what it is. That's what it is. And Clemson is still in the top twenty-five. They shouldn't be. Well, they, they weren't. They just got back in. Yeah. It's disappointing. Well, now we're on the outside. Okay, yeah, Penn State is. Wait, what rankings are you looking at? I'm looking at. College football polls, updated AP top 25, colleges poll rankings after week six. I'm on ESPN, and I see Iowa 2, Cincinnati 3, Oklahoma 4. Oh, this is probably better. That's probably better. Okay, I'm on NCAA.com. And, yeah, that makes more sense. Georgia, Iowa, Cincinnati, Oklahoma. And then Alabama's oh, five, and then six, seven, eight is uh, Ohio State, Penn State. I, Michigan. S- I still think Alabama and Ohio State should be below Penn State. Penn State should be the best team with one loss. You would oh, think. Well. You would think the committee disagrees, unfortunately. Um, yeah, but if we went out, we're in, or we should be in. So it's not like all hope is lost. There's still a sliver of hope. Easier said than done. Easier yeah. said than done. Yeah. But we are – we're a, a little bit of Penn State bandwagon fans. Like, we're – I wouldn't say no, we're as I hardcore. No, I love Penn State every single year. I wouldn't year. say we're as hardcore as we are about, like – Oh, the I'm hardcore. Or the six. You should have seen me at the Penn State game. I was, I was going all out. You okay. know, the test, um, printed, like, uh, 3D printed Sean Clifford's face onto my – my stomach wow. um, and his smile was right on the belly button so when I pushed out my stomach he smiled but when I pulled in he was angry you know that's that's pretty uh, cool. but here's Penn State's schedule they play Illinois easy dub Ohio State got a win game Maryland easier dub Michigan got a win game Rudders Easier, easier does. <laughs> Why go anywhere else? And Michigan State got to win game. So they play an easy team, six seed, easy team, eight seed, easy team, 10 seed. 
So those three. I like how that shakes out. Yeah, they've they've got to win those three. Yeah. All right. That is episode 120. Apologies for putting this out a little bit later. Um, hopefully this will be out late Monday, if not early Tuesday. Um, yeah, hopefully we'll finally get Luke back for episode 121. He hasn't been on here in a month. So we're, we're working on that. We're working on it. Any final words, yeah. Parker? Um, you know, stay, stay ready. Stay, stay humble, stay hungry. And chop wood, carry water. Yep. All right.